Thank you for asking this nice question. Um, I think there is a written answer for this somewhere in the sub. Um, gonna not going to go and look for it now, but you can f search if you want. But what I'll do is um, I'll make a quick uh, video demo of uh, some of the ideas here, and hopefully that will help. So here I am. Um, I'm at my Mac terminal. And on Windows, I think this would be uh, your command prompt. Um, so I'm going to create a file right here. Um, and um, so, so actually, let me move to, let me go to my temp directory. And I'll create a file here. So main.cc. And uh, let's make this a very simple file, which only is, I want to use this to demonstrate what arcs in RP are. So, all right, so let's just include hash include iostream. Um, and then main, oh, let's say return int, so main, um, and it's going to take two parameters, um, argz and argv. What are these? So you know that when you call a function, you supply parameters to it, so you can change the behavior of the function using these parameters that um, you can supply. Um, but how do you control the behavior of main? Because you don't call main, right? The operating system invokes main. And the way that most of these operating systems um, invoke these program the, the your C++ programs is by providing what are called command line parameters. You know, let me um, I'll show you an example as soon as we finish typing up this uh, script uh, this program here. So int argz, which is an integer, which tells you the number of command line parameters the operating system has given to main at the time it invoked it, and also an array of strings. Um, C, C strings, not C++ strings. So C strings are just character arrays, right? It's arrays of characters. So this is an array of array of, uh, of characters. So you could write this like um, char star argv, which is an array of character pointers. Or, you know, as some of the others have pointed out, this is also a char star star argv, because it's an array of pointers to uh, character pointers. Okay, so that's our template. Uh, and oh, I'm in uh, an editor, so I'm just going to go ahead and type anyway. So all right, so for int uh, i equals zero, i is less than argc i plus plus. Um, all I want to do here is just simply print out uh, the corresponding argument so we can see what these are. So I want to say c out. Actually, since we're not including namespace, standard colon um, c out, and then I want to do um, arg v of i equals, and then we want to say argv of i, and then standard, colon, end of line. Okay. Uh, oh, return. Okay. All right. So not true. All right. Good. So let's compile this program and run it. So um, g plus plus uh, dash o main. Uh, main.cc. Well, if you are on a Mac, you can basically just type make main and it will do that for you. Okay, so I have this program main which is um, capable of taking two parameters, uh, command line parameters, and it will print out the parameters that it obtained from the command line. So let's try it out. So let's try it out with no parameters first. Main. Okay argv of zero equals main, which just says, it says that it actually did receive a parameter even though we didn't supply one, and or the first parameter is actually the name of the program itself, which is really cool because then you can, um, you can control the behavior of the program depending on the name with which it was called. This is a really cool thing, isn't it? Okay, all right, so let's supply some other parameters, main uh, one, two, three. Right. And then it's going to say, you know, argv of zero is um, main, one, two, and three. So there you see, um, this is how the, the operating system, which is Windows or Unix or Mac OS or any, you know, Android, um, any of these operating systems uh, supply the parameters the user typed in on the command line, even before the program started running, right? So th this is how the operating system takes those, packages them up, and supplies them to the uh, function being invoked. You may ask why um, supply um, 
and uh, you know this funky little char star star parameter why not give the entire array that's a good question uh, and the answer is very straightforward right because the parameter uh, the, the, the 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 parameters need to be a fixed size or the 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 called or uh, the, the function wouldn't know how many bytes to pop off the stack when it starts running right so it's fixed bytes so we know that the second parameter is a pointer so we know exactly how many bytes to pop off the stack. And we know the first parameter is an integer. So we know it's exactly four bytes or eight bytes or two bytes or whatever it is you know, to pop off the stack. So that's how main starts its job. And then, you know, every other function works in exactly the same way. Um, I hope this makes sense. Um, now, yeah, and obviously this is how you supply parameters on the command line. So suppose I want to invoke a system function, uh, a, 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 you know, a freebie uh, command that comes with every, almost every single a common operating system. Uh, it's called echo, right? And as the name suggests, the echo command will only, well, the, all it does is simply echo back to you everything you type on the command line. The only difference is that it's not going to echo back its own name. So let's try it out. One, two, three, four. Right? So it says one, two, three, four. Uh, also, it's slight like differences in formatting, right? So we printed them out one per line. It prints them all on the same line. Essentially this. So here's an interesting thing for you. Uh, so let's say I put in a bunch of spaces here. What happens? Right? So think about it. Uh, hit pause at this point, uh, moment and think about what it's going to print. Right? You can try it out with the command that you created also, right? And, and it's, it's going to be the same. And you'll see that the four, the spaces are lost. The spaces are lost when uh, echo returns. So here's a challenge for you after watching this video. Try and figure out a way in which you can have this command um, print out. Um, oh, not this command. <laughs> I'm sorry. This command uh, print out everything that follows the name of the command, including the spaces, right? So including the spaces. And so try and figure it out. It's going to be a fun exercise for you. So I hope this clarifies things uh, for you guys and um, you find it helpful. Okay, bye.